Thanks very much for coming along this morning, ladies and gents. Three great speakers today. We have Martin Lax from Transport for Greater Manchester talking about Second City Crossing, uh, what that means for the city and the knock-on benefits for those members in the, in, the, uh, in the room today. Duncan Law from Network Rail, who will also be talking about the Northern Hub, who will actually be up first. Um, and then finally wrapping that up, we've a uh, very prestigious speaker today, Sir Richard Lees, who will actually be wrapping up the session and uh, trying to bring everything together in terms of what it means for Manchester and the city region. The Northern Hub is a, is a programme of activity built up of a series of projects. Um, and we see those as critical to rebalancing the, the Northern economy. What we mean by that is a, an infrastructure capability to run an additional 700 trains a day on the network. That means 44 million passenger journeys a year, far, far in excess of, uh, of the current capability. The hub stands to achieve a 4.2 billion boost to the economy. So by connecting these towns, cities, goods, freight routes, um, we're looking at real tangible benefits to the, to the country as well as to the north of England. If you turn that into a GVA perspective, that turns into 20 to 30,000 jobs. Every one pound invested in the hub will see a benefit of four pound in return. The time for decisions is now. We believe we've made a strong case and a well-supported case, as I mentioned earlier, and ministers are being briefed now. In networking, you're representing a, a wide and a broad audience, uh, and it's important for us that whilst we're looking at the development of the core, that we're trying to take in as much of the consultation feedback as we can. Business industry is, is part of that group. Um, when we're talking about the support for the Northern Hub and the electrification and the, and the Victoria schemes, the more we can talk to people about it, the better. Not only does it raise awareness of what we're going to be doing and why it's so important, but it also enables that feedback loop that we see as absolutely critical to what we're doing. Really good event, lovely to meet so many different people. Great to hear about the investment, huge investment that's coming from Network Rail and on the Metrolink scheme. So wonderful opportunities for private business like ours. At the moment, uh, there's a significant amount of investment going to Metrolink. One and a half billion pounds is being spent on Metrolink in Greater Manchester. Clearly, that's fantastic news for, uh, for the conurbation. It's going, it is an absolute step change, uh, as Duncan mentioned, in terms of the development of public transport. That money is going into a number of items uh, on the system. There are 10 extensions that we're developing at the moment. We're uh, putting money into the stops. We've upgraded a lot of the stops. We've got new trams. You can see uh, one of the new uh, Bombardier M5000s there in Piccadilly Gardens, which is, again, a step change in passenger experience and in reliability of, on the system. We're going to treble the size of the Metrolink network. It's currently the largest in the UK, and clearly it's going to get significantly bigger as we move forward. You're not limited just to coming to one FB event just in Manchester. You've got ones in Liverpool, you've got Derby, whatever. I've come up from London, you know, all sorts of reasons why. You, you, you put on that lineup of that, that quality of lineup of speakers, and and uh, why would you not come? Well, this is my first FBE event and I was really, really impressed. Three really good quality speakers um, and some great questions afterwards. It was a great networking opportunity. If you're going to Paris or Amsterdam or Brussels or uh, Rotterdam or even uh, uh, slightly further, further afield, then high-speed rail will give uh, interconnectivity, which will start to give advantages for those sorts of distances over, uh, over air, air travel. The catchment area of Manchester city centre at the moment is around about 7 million people within a 50 mile uh, radius. Uh, of course it only works if they can get there and uh, uh, if you have growing congestion, whether it's in the railways, on the roads and so on, the number of workers you've got available starts to, uh, starts to shrink. So uh, why things like the uh, Metrolink out to Oldham and Rochdale are very, very important, it is to make sure that people from those areas can act access where the job growth uh, is and it is then able to be able to build supply chains up to the north of the uh, north of the conurbation of 
all the forms of uh, connectivity, intercity connectivity, improving intercity connectivity is the one that will boost economic activity uh, uh, the, the most. So of all the things talked about today, if you had to choose one thing you could do, if you're restricted to doing one thing, then the one thing I would do is Northern Hub. We have a necessity of growing the economy of, uh, of Greater Manchester. There are, uh, I think, two big elements to growing an economy. Infrastructure is, uh, is one of them. So from my point of view, to be able to engage uh, a wide private sector audience in, in what we're doing from a public sector perspective to grow infrastructure and how the private sector can benefit uh, from that is a real plus. And obviously it's beneficial for, for business and it's beneficial for the commuters that are going to be travelling to work. So it was really good good event, well, well, well organised and yeah, looking forward to coming to the next one. I'd just like to say I, I, I have uh, the benefit of going to networking events right across the UK. Uh, and, and I must admit it's good to see so many people from so many other regions coming in to Manchester. And it, it's why is Manchester different? I think, yeah, there's things going on within Manchester and there's probably a slightly more upbeat feel for the economy but actually I think what's great about Manchester that is epitomised by the quality of speakers that we've got today is the way that Manchester communicates in terms of the way that we get to hear about these things, they're very open, they come along, they talk and uh, uh, they want to consult and I think that's indicative of the speakers today but also events that we've had this year, but also events that we've got planned for the rest of the year. And we've got a full calendar, it's all on the website. We need you to join the FBE to support the FBE. 65 years of networking, um, we've been around a while, we're going to be around another few years, so please keep supporting the FBE and thanks very much for coming today. Cheers. Going forward, I think this is the model that we really need to maintain. It's all about getting the right speakers, getting the right venue and creating an environment for people to network and uh, do business within the built environment in Manchester. Mm -hmm.